Hi, my name is Marla Turgeon and I'm your Sandberg Librarian. I'm here to help you find resources for your writing assignment this semester. Today I'm going to talk to you about the library's databases and the catalog. First thing you need to do is go to the Sandberg portal and log in as you would for your Moodle class. Then go to the upper left hand corner and you'll see a menu. Click on that. <clears throat> then click on the library drop down arrow. About halfway down the list, you'll see the database link. So here you can see the list of databases the library subscribes to. They're divided by subject areas. You can see business at the top, criminal justice. It goes on in alphabetical order. We're going to scroll down the page for the subject heading political science, international relations, and law. And then I want to click on the database Gale in Context Global Issues. This is a good database to find some of the articles for your term paper. So you can see at the top of the page, it's the basic search bar up here. <clears throat> I'm going to do a basic search for Yemen since that's what you're going to be writing about. And here's the results. Notice how the database defaulted to an overview of Yemen. If you wanna see academic journals or magazines, simply click on the link for those. Right down here, academic journals and magazines. I'm gonna choose magazines today. Mr. Vassell said it was okay for this project if you used either magazines or academic journals. <clears throat> So first thing you'll notice, there's um, a lot of results, 946 articles. Um, so what we want to do from here is narrow these results a little bit. And we're going to do that by this filter your results. Okay. Um, the first one is the publication date. If you want articles that have been written between specific dates, um, you can use this one. You can use these helpers that are here to set up your dates. And there's also some presets down here. Um, for this class, you're not going to need that so much, but this could be useful if you're in one, a database for a Gale database, at least for um, a science class. So the next filter is the subject filter. I'm going to open that up. <clears throat> this one, I'm definitely going to choose something. And I want economic growth, since that's one of your questions for this project. So as you can see over here, we are narrowed down to 32 results, okay? Um, that's not a lot. At this point, I would just go ahead and look through those and look to see if I found what I wanted in this, but I wanna show you the rest of these filters, okay? So then we've got document type. Sometimes in your results, um, you're going to see, like this first one here is a brief article. Um, and you might see some other documents that are in here. You could see some book reviews, things like that. You don't want those type of things. So this document type is going to knock those out for you. So I'm going to choose article and geographic overview, statistical data for this. Click apply. And notice how it's knocked down those results to that, okay? <clears throat> the next one is publication title. Now, if you know of a specific periodical, or magazine that you would like to search in, you can use this. You go in and you search for that magazine and see if it's available within this database, okay? You don't need to work, worry about the Lexile measure or the content level at this point, but this search within filter is a really good one. <clears throat> if you find that you've got some good results um, with the other filters you've used and your basic search, um, but you want to go a little bit deeper into a subject, this is a good place to go to. You can put in some keywords here and see if that gets you into uh, a more pinpointed um, uh, research for yourself, okay? So those are the, re uh, the, the filters. Um, another thing I wanted to show you here too is that if you've gone too far, um, you can always go over here to this area, see how it's been building on those filters right here. Um, so saying, no, I do want to go back and I want to look at document types, or I don't want to look at the subject economic growth. I can click on the X here, and that's going to take that out, and it's going to give me my other results back, okay? It's kind of nice to have this. You don't have to go all the way back to the beginning and do your original search because um, of that. So 
Um, okay, the next thing I'm going to show you are then the tools that are in some of these articles. Let's choose this one. Um, so it's what an article is going to look like when you open it. Um, up at the top, you're going to have the title of the article. Um, over here, you're going to have the date that it's published. This one doesn't have the an author for it. So if it did, your author would be in this area. In the center, it tells you um, what uh, periodical or magazine that it's from. Um, here's the publisher. To the right is what type of document this is and the length of the document also. Other tools, once you open the articles, um, down here, if you would like to have the article translated into a different language, you're welcome to here. Um, you can change the font size. You can also have this article read to you. To the right of that, if you decide you want to keep this article, you can send this out to your Google Drive. The next one is you can send it out to the Microsoft OneDrive, email it to yourself, download to your device, or print it. Now, up at the top right, this is the one you guys are really going to be interested in this tool. Um, the database is going to cite this article for you, but I want you to um, pay attention to the citation. Um, sometimes the database vendor doesn't import the citations correctly, so I want you to double check the citation. Um, you don't want to lose points on your assignments because the formatting of the citation is off, okay? I have seen these before where, um, like, the uh, maybe the name of the article was in all capital letters, and you don't want to just um, copy and paste that into your document and then get points taken off for that, okay? So you would just hit select and then copy and paste it. Um, you can also export this out if you use Noodle Tools. Um, export this citation out to the Google Drive or your OneDrive too. Also, we have different styles of citations up here. So if you're using APA, you just click on that. Um, the Chicago 17th edition, click on that link, or the Harvard style. Okay. <clears throat> um, here you can send it out to your Google Drive, OneDrive, and email again download to your device, and of course, print. Now, get link. Um, this is a really important tool to have. If your instructor asks you for a link to an article, um, this is what you're going to use. The reason here is because if you use that URL that is up in your browser, that's not going to work, okay? Um, because the URL that's up in the browser is for that session that you're searching within the database, okay? So down the road, it's not gonna work for either you or for your instructor. So look for this get link tool. You just select and you can copy and paste it to them. Um, also in other databases, it can be called a permalink too, okay? So just keep that in mind, it's really important. Also, if you're putting together your citations, make sure you're using that link also, okay? And then the next tool is Highlights and Notes. This is a really cool tool. If you're reading through here and you find a passage that's very interesting to you, um, you can highlight it with your cursor like this, and then you can go and you know put the color onto it, any color that you'd like, but you can also add notes in here. So we're gonna do like a test note, and then you would just click Save. And then if you notice, you go back up to Highlights and Notes, there it is again for you, okay? Um, this is especially helpful if you have a very long article. Something like this, I don't think you would use that in. But, um, you know, in those longer articles, it might help you keep track of areas that are uh, of interest to you. Also, the cool thing about that is if you're doing this within the database and then you export it out, it's going to save those Highlights and Notes for you, too, when you open it up in those areas later, okay? So um, let me see. So I wanted to tell you too, I'm going to click on this and go back to the opening interface. All of the Gale database um, interfaces are going to be very similar. A lot of them are going to look like this. You're going to see the simple search bar up at the top, so you can get used to seeing those. But something else I wanted to point out, if you go into other databases, um, we have EBSCO databases and um, a ProQuest out there still too. Um, the
those interfaces are going to look a little bit different, but I want you to keep in mind that the filters that I showed you for doing your searches and to help you narrow those down, those are in those databases also. And also the tools, once you find an article, um, those are in those databases too. Just look around, they're there, and um, you know, get yourself some help that way. Uh, look around for those helpers, all right? So let's see, the next thing we wanna do is go to the library's online catalog. And I'm gonna go back to Sandberg Portal. Um, I wanna point out the library's open Monday through Thursday from eight until 4.45 if you're able to get on campus, okay? So let's go to the menu. And we'll go to library again, and up towards the top is Sandberg Catalogs, and then this link for the Sandberg Catalog, and it opens up to a basic search bar again, okay? I'm going to search for Yemen again. <clears throat> so the catalog is a lot like um, the database, and it has filters too. Um, as you can see here, there's a lot of online uh, newspapers and journals and some of these searches you might find some audio videos so you know use these um, filters that are over here on the side for this one I'm going to show you like resource type I'm just going to click on books and then I'm going to go back up to library now if you are in Carthage you're more than welcome to click this but today I'm going to click on the Galesburg library and then I'll click on apply filters and there are the books that are available in the Galesburg Library, okay? Um, the same thing here, if you want to get rid of any of those filters, then you can just click the X and it'll take you back. Okay, let me, I want to open up a book. Okay, well, these are online. I'll just show you from here because a lot of them are going to be the same. See, they're the same tools in here too. So. You've got the print tool if you want to um, uh, print this out, permalink, you can um, you know, get a link, um, and then the citation if you needed to cite this um, item, and then you can email it to yourself also, okay? Um, as far as the online tools that are here, you can go in and try them, but sometimes I have found within the catalog, that it can be a little bit clunky and doesn't always work the way I want it to. I personally have gotten frustrated on these. Um, you guys are probably better at technology than I am, so you might be able to you know, figure it out. But um, at this point, this is a newer catalog, so we're still kind of working out the kinks with it. Um, what I would suggest you do, that if you're looking, if you'd like a book and an ebook, um, that you use the EBSCO Academic Ebook Collection. Um, Mr. Vassell said it's okay if you are using ebooks for your work also, um, but you can find that um, ebook collection on the database page. Or I have a guide that I created specifically for this class that will contain a list of database, databases with links to them. And this um, uh, ebook collection is also on that page, okay? Um, I'm going to be posting the guide in the Ask a Librarian forum that's in your Moodle classroom. I don't know if any of you have noticed that it's kind of towards the end of the contents on the opening page of your classroom. Um, I'm also going to create a video on how to search the EBSCO ebook database. Um, that database does not allow you to download the book to one of your devices, so if you had a Kindle, um, so you would need to open the database each time, but I have um, some tricks to show you um, on how to be able to get back into the book easier in order to read it, okay? So when I post that video, pay attention, um, go, it's gonna be a quick one, it'll be real short, and um, go take a look at that and use those tips and tricks, okay? So this is the end of the video. If you need additional assistance, please feel free to contact me either in the forum in Moodle or you can always email me, that's no problem. Um, so that's it and thanks guys.